Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. I am here to help you change your reality. I am doing this with my life as well. Today I wanted to talk about are you in control of your mind or is your mind in control of you? This makes all the difference in the world. When you have your subconscious programming running the show and you're not even conscious about it, then you can't change it, right? If you, you can't change what you're not conscious of, what you're not aware of. So what I mean by, so an example is a lot of people, I was one of them for a long time. I never fully enjoyed life in the moment. I worked 30 years in corporate and I would, my mind would be running, monkey mind all the time, running, running, running. No, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. You, you should be at way further ahead in life. You should have more money. You should be, I mean, it was non we stop relentless beating myself up all day long, every day. Like I was just the fight or flight mode all the time. So it's like I, my sleep wasn't great. I, the eating wasn't great. Cause it's like, I'm just tired all the time. I'm just exhausted every day, all day long. And I know I am not alone in this. There are so many people like this. And the reason is because you haven't learned how to take control of your mind. And we were not taught this in school, right? So it's, it's something we need to learn as adults, how to realize that whatever happened to us in childhood is what created the subconscious programming, the beliefs that you now hold on to. And that was then, this is now, like that does not have to have any effect on your life whatsoever, unless you want it to, unless you're letting it because you don't know any better, like I was, and like probably many of you. So it's about realizing that you are in control of your reality. Your thoughts and beliefs create your reality. So when your thoughts and beliefs are of anger, hurt, resentment, beating yourself up constantly, then you're not going to get ahead in life. It's going to be really challenging. This is when, when you have a goal that you want to meet, but you have all this stuff going on. Now you have to use extreme willpower to get anything done. And it's like, whereas someone else who is normally a disciplined person, but they have no programming beating themselves up, they get things done, you know, easy, easy peasy. And you're like, why is this person, like I'm working way harder than them and they don't even give a shit. And they're like getting way ahead in life and they're getting everything they desire because they don't have anything blocking them. They don't have any beliefs blocking them. So they can set a goal and do the things to get it done and achieve their goals without any concern of limiting beliefs blocking them. And that's what causes the stress and the lack of sleep and the weight gain and all the things that you don't want. It's all because of your mind. And it's like learning to take, take control of your mind and becoming aware of your subconscious programming. So it's the, look at your life, the main areas of your life and where you are blocked, wherever you're not getting what you want. And you go, okay, what do I believe in order? What would I have to believe in order for this to be true? And usually you're probably, it's going to come up pretty easily. Just keep asking yourself questions around the subject that you're blocked on. And then you're, it'll come into your mind or use the pendulum also. So ask spirit, like spirit, show me, do am I holding on to a belief that there is never enough money and ask your pendulum. If you're not, if you don't feel the answer inside, then use a pendulum and you can get them anywhere, get it on Amazon or, or you can even make one. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Literally it's a weight and a string, just something that has a weight. So you can, you can swing it and then get an answer. Yes or no. But that is, that's a great way to dial it in. So just sit with it and look at the areas of your life where you're blocked and provide yourself some relief. Like no one, is, no one is meant to go through life feeling that stress and that panic and the fight or flight every day, all day long. It's exhausting. And it, all it does is beat the crap out of you. So it's like, give yourself a break, give yourself some grace and just be like, okay, um, it ends here. And by the way, I made a video yesterday about beer and me craving a beer for the past month. And so this morning I woke up, I'm like, okay, okay, here, let's see if I want a beer. And I did not. 
I had no interest whatsoever. So I'm like, yes, I cleared that, that all that garbage yesterday. I, I was working on that. I told you guys about, so I was very relieved with that. It's like, it made me feel so good. I felt great. I slept much better last night. It was, it was awesome. But anyway, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Right. Look at the area of your life where you're blocked, own in on it, journal on what beliefs are coming up that are blocking you, ask questions, use a pendulum. That always works for me. And just feeling it. It's like whenever I know that it's right, it, it just feels right. I just know. I'm like, do I have a block? Like with the the beer thing, I just popped in my head. Like, you're not focusing on the beer. You need to focus on the beer itself. It's not alcohol. It's this specific to this beer. And that's what led me down. That was the clue spirit was giving me to lead me to the belief that I wanted to uncover. Because that spirit it's like, show me. I'm, obviously, I'm not getting it. Show me what beliefs I'm holding on to. Like, go to, before you go to bed at night, ask. Say, when I wake up in the morning, I want clarity. Show me what beliefs I'm holding on to that's blocking me from stepping into the life I want or whatever specific area you're working on. And it works for you. The universe has your back always it is always showing us who we are being and it's like getting to the bottom of like well i want to release that i don't want to do that anymore so that's when you got to get to the bottom of like what are the beliefs that you're holding on to and it's not going to go like so i mean there could be a billion beliefs that you have that you don't want but we're focused on what's going to shift my life right what are the big things what are the big belief the core beliefs that are hindering my success so you're not going to go through every single thing but be very conscious of what information you let into your brain like watching the media or any of this politics bs like it's all just it's it's the matrix right it's all lies it's just fake like hone in on who you are and what life do you want to live and i in 2020 with the elections and all that i was i was in growth because the COVID, all that stuff happened. And I was like, what is going on here? We're being scammed. This is all live, blah, blah, blah. And then now I'm like, I don't want to hear any of that. I don't talk about it. I want nothing to do with it. That's not my life. That's not my world. So good luck, everyone. I hope this is helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.